हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अवर न्यू वीडियो वेर वे विल डिस्कस डिफरेंट वेज ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिफाइंड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी एंड फॉर्मूला फॉर इट एंड वी हैव ऑल्सो कंक्लूडेड आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो बाई स्टेटिंग दैट देर आर थ्री वेज ऑफ कैलकुलेटिंग टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी और थ्री वे ऑफ रिप्रजेंटिंग टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी so what are they the first way is best case second is the average case and third is your worst case okay so what are the meaning of this best case average case and the worst case let's understand let's start with the best case so best case is nothing but the minimum number of times minimum number of times the basic operation gets executed basic operation gets executed so what is best case best case time complexity is means the minimum number that is the best case right even if you see the word best right best means best that by providing minimum efforts you get the results right so it says that by minimum number of basic operations by calculating minimum number of how many times the basic operation is been executed you get the best case right for example for example you have let's say <coughs> uh, array of uh, let's say 4 7 6 8 9 and you have a let's say linear search or let's say any searching algorithm right Uh, I'll say linear search. Okay, so what will happen is I have to search for element four in this array, okay. right? So what I'll do, I'll start from the starting point of the array, and I will compare. So if you see in this case, this four matches with four means this is the minimum number of times the comparison will happen, right? Only in first match I got the result. Are you understanding? When you will write that a of i equal to equal to k. then this is a match right so how many times that basic operation of comparison will be executed only once time because in a first iteration itself you got the match so in that case i can say that the linear search time complexity in best cases o of 1 means in the first iteration you got the result are you understanding so it is the minimum number of times the basic operation gets executed for example a uh, uh, any algorithm takes minimum of two steps you know two two iterations to calculate the <coughs> uh the the basic operation so you 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 find accordingly okay so that is the important that minimum number of times so uh, on the contrary what will be the other part is worst case right so worst case is nothing but the same stuff with not minimum it changes with the maximum that is maximum number of times the basic the basic operation gets executed gets executed okay i'll take the example same example as of this right for example in this case i have 4 5 6 8 and 9 in an array and i'm using a linear search same algorithm and i have to search instead of 4 i have to search 9 now it will compare with this guy not matched will compare to this guy not matched 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 or oh, matched so and it is the last element of the algorithm after that there will be no uh, execution of that basic operation and here basic operation is nothing but a comparison so so after this there will be no comparison made this is the maximum limit it can make and at that point itself you got your uh, uh, match right so that is how we calculate maximum number so in this it depends upon the array if array is of n elements so n times the loop will execute right and n times that basic operation will get executed right so that is why here the com complexity becomes o of 1 don't worry if you are not understanding how i'm getting o of 1 o of n in our coming videos we'll take a lot of examples 
for calculating time complexity so just be with me for such definitions so i think you understand what is best case that is minimum number of times the basic operation gets executed worst case the maximum number of times the basic operation gets executed and what is average average is actually the mean of the random number of observation you have taken so that is what so average case so i just write it here and it is very basic so you just not take from the middle not from the end you take generally five then you take six then you eight then you just take an average of it and they will give the average case time complexity so you can write that in the average case let me just write in the average case takes all the random inputs so it takes the random inputs random inputs and calculate the computation time computation time for all inputs right and then we, we divide so averages total number of quantity upon number of times it has been executed so then we then we divide by total number of inputs total number of inputs you have taken right so generally you can write this as it's basically the average of random taken inputs taken inputs all right so you understand in how how we represent time complexity best case means you need to figure it out in which minimum condition it will give me the results worst is the maximum number of execution of the basic operation average means you take the average of the particular stuff right in our next video we'll start with some examples how to calculate time complexity so if you like this video please do like share and subscribe thank you